was there is something I wish to discuss with the four of you before and once we reach Silda. Oh yeah, you said something about a job. Yes. Is this a job in an eastern direction? <laughs> uh it's more, <laughs> more, it's more of a southern direction. Oh Southern away from Phandalin, not like Southern Phandalin. Yes. I'm I'm talking about the cave, of course. Oh Wave Echo Cave. You don't want to come with yeah. us to that? Um, you're, you're scared? When you eventually go, sure, I'll most likely tag along. If you do go, that's part of what I want to discuss with you. Fire. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, I guess we pull up our horses to the stone hill and tie them up and stuff. Is our wagon still here? Your wagon is still there. Woo! Uh, <laughs> if there was any, like, crates you left on there with, like, food supplies, they've been taken. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, they're gone. There's, it's now just a wagon with nothing, and the two oxen are still tied up in the barn. The oxen are gone. <laughs> the oxen are still there. The wheels of the um, wagon, gone. Because you paid for their upkeep uh, to the hill, uh, the inn keeper, to take care of them while they were, uh, while you guys were away. Gave what goods you had left to the inn to help offset the cost. Okay. Well... You tie up the horses, and all five of you make your way inside. Uh, you see it's less populated than it has been the other nights you were here. There's maybe only like ten people. Uh, but you do see Sildar in his typical corner booth. Uh, you see him look up. Gundren, you're alright! We're back! Adventurers, you made it safely. I'm glad you are all okay. He's not dead, Sildar. Uh, you make your way, all four, five of you I assume, make your way to the booth? Yeah. Hell yeah. Right, so I give Sildar the... a big hug. Uh, he hugs you back, and then he hugs Gundren, and they, they hug for a little bit, and then they sit down. They hug for a little bit too long. Yeah, just a little bit. A little bit suspicious. Um, sussy! <laughs> they're being sussy. <laughs> Gundren, I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad you're alright as well, Sildar. Uh, these friends you made saved my ass. That we did. Yes, they're good people. I'm glad <laughs> I was able to trust them with this. I'm glad I made the right decision inducting you into the Lord's Alliance, of course. Oh, speaking of which, uh, Kragmaw Castle, whew, all the goblins are gone. They are. That's good news. Gundren can attest to it, and so can the others, if you don't believe me. Ah, We did it. We're the best. Gundren sort of nods, but he's like, eh, that's not necessary, Oris. I'm sure you wouldn't lie to a... Uh, a fellow alliance member. A fellow alliance member, yes. Yeah, and it'd be pretty yes. difficult to get Gundren out of there if we hadn't killed everybody. We did it all in 30 minutes. 30 minutes? You murdered an entire castle full of goblins. Yeah, do I? That's quite impressive, especially because you've only been gone like two days, three days. Okay, you're never going to believe this, Sildar, right? So our plan originally was to head up north through the Neverwinter Woods towards Thunder Tree to locate Redoff and... You know, I don't know if you know who Redoff is, a tracker that we got told about. And mm. then, out of nowhere, we're stumbling through the trees in the morning, and Robert goes, Hey, everybody, look over here. That's totally something he would say. And uh, <laughs> we pushed the leaves aside, and suddenly we saw this rub rumbled and tumbled old castle. Mm. And Robert said, Gee willikers, everybody. Look what it is. Look what we found. And I said, Robert, what's wrong with you? I'll be honest. I may have smoked a little, and then I accidentally <laughs> veered my horse off to the right, and uh, we stumbled upon the castle. That is quite impressive and lucky for all of us. <laughs> this is him telling us that for the first time. <laughs> uh, indeed, I'm not sure I could have lasted much longer in the hold of the goblins. Gundren, tell him about the two people we found when we went into the room with you. Ah, uh, well, one was a doppelganger, uh, I believe we discovered, after their death, and the other was King Grohl in charge of the Kragmar Band. Yes. We killed King Grohl. That's good to hear. Uh, without his intelligence and leadership, there should be less of a threat in the region. Especially with Kragmar emptied. I'll... Sildar, are you aware of any other wizards other than Glassstaff? Or what was his name? Whatever that guy's name. Well, I mean... Uh, personally, I don't know too many more that are in nearby. Mm. There's always one or two holds up in Neverwinter, and Elminster is always somewhere in the region. Mm. 
So no like uh, necromancers that we could get to use talk with the dead with on the guy we killed that's actually a wizard. Uh not that I know of. Okay. There's probably a necromancer actually Okay. Oh, I just had an idea. But I don't want to say this out loud. <clears throat> I, I just suddenly Oris goes quiet and just turns around. Well, um We got my fucking gang back together. How about I'll some be right I'll be right back. I believe I have a payment for you. And Sildar leaves to go to his room. I, I take the... We'll bring you back a bear. I take the giant <laughs> dwarven brandy. Place it down. Be careful with this one, lads. It's on the house, but if you have more than one, you're gonna die. And I bang a tankard down and start pouring dwarven brandy into it. Uh, Gundren has a few glasses because, you know, he's dwarven. <laughs> he's immune. Yeah. Um, uh, Gundren turns to you. Well... I suppose I should talk about the job offer I have. Yeah, 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 one second. Robert, get the music going. Do you go back to your usual position and start performing? Are we Indian? Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go I'll go high five the dude and tell him what's up. That boy up. is transcending. He has no idea where he is. <laughs> uh, the innkeep knocks you. He's perfectly okay with you performing. You've done this before. Same deal. You'll get some yeah. booze and food and a room to sleep in. Uh, give yep. me a performance. All right. Ooh, 24. Nice. Yeah. Once again, it's just great music. Does that lure more people into the inn? Um, eventually, it starts uh, getting a little bit more uh, busy and more people come in. And this is why the innkeeper is always very happy um, to have Robert do this. I'm going to try to enthrall the loudest slash drunkest <laughs> looking four individuals again. Hell yeah. Um, alright. Give me a roll. They make wisdom saves. They make wisdom saves? Yeah. Alright, what are they trying to beat? Fourteens. Alright. Um, they all succeeded. Fuck! They weren't drunk enough. They were not. Or they were just too powerful, intelligent, uh, they were too wise to let on to your shenanigans. <laughs> when there's like a decent enough crowd going inside and they're all listening to the music and stuff, <clears throat> I just want to sort of grab Gundren by the shoulder and go, Hey everyone! Gundren's back! Just like throw my drink in the air. Wah! Does anybody respond to that? Okay, what are you What are you attempting to do? I want them to be like, holy shit, it's Gundren. Like, uh, everyone's having a good time and excited to see their old friend back, basically. Um, give me performance. 21. 21, okay. What did you get, Andrew, for your performance? 24. Okay. So, uh, the, like, a few of the people closest to you turn and look, and they're like, yeah! And then they immediately go back to being enthralled by Andrew's music. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I start going, Gondrin! 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 <laughs> and you get back, free Ro Robert! 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 <laughs> yeah! Robert helped save him along with Frito! You remember that guy you're gonna vote for in a few months? <laughs> Hi, everyone! Frito! 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 <laughs> Robert! <Yeah>. Robert! <laughs> Someone just Robert. pushes me over. <laughs> <laughs> Just know, everyone, Robert's making my campaign theme song, so it's gonna be great. Let's go! I mean, absolute bop, you already know. Alright. I stand back up. Did they start? <laughs> He's also got a new uh, album on the way next year. Look uh, out for it. Alright. Sildar uh, comes back out with a, a bag and places it on the table. It's ten times louder in here now. It is. Your payment... As agreed, 500 gold. <coughs> I sniffed the bag. It smells like gold. Uh, I, I look towards Frito to see if he has anything against me just grabbing it. <laughs> I go and take my uh, 125 gold share and leave it at that. Gerald shows no objection. I grab a 375 gold. Yeah. Well, uh, if you're done announcing my return, I sort of wanted to keep that secret. <laughs> <coughs> what? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think anyone noticed, to be honest. They're all cheering for Robert. Anyway, the job offer I had for you. Yeah, should we go into Sildar's room? I think it's... We, yes, we should. Good. It was a good thing you made more noise, though. It makes us less likely to be overheard. Yeah. Uh, so Sildar, Gerald. 
uh, Oris and Thundren get up to go into his room. And Frito. Do you follow Frito? Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. I All start right. throwing copper into the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, deduct how much copper you want to throw to the crowd. A hundred. A hundred copper? Yeah. All right. Uh, you see people scrambling and picking it up and buying more <laughs> drinks with it, and you just started an amazing time, and the innkeeper just gives you a thumbs up and a wink. <laughs> I high-five uh, one of the people in the crowd on the way out, and I'm like, remember, vote Frito! Vote Robert! Yeah! <laughs> oh, no! Robert's the king! <laughs> oh, no! Uh, they were in no. the house the whole time. Uh, the person you high-five just looks at, he's like drunk, so drunk, they just like stare at you, high five you, and they're like, yeah! <laughs> oh man. Start, start. They start going down on a guy. <laughs> uh, he had, he, this is one of the people who grabbed, but did you share the uh, dwarven alcohol with everyone or just yeah. the party? Yeah, with everybody. So he had one cup of the dwarven alcohol and he. <laughs> he's out. He's out. He's out. Nice. All right, you make your way into Sildar's room. So. I've heard you talking, and it sounds like you want to go to Wave Echo Cave to stop the spider. Oh, yeah. Eventually. But I would also like to offer you a job helping me clear out the cave from any monstrous inhabitants, the spider, and anything else inside of it. So we're able to reclaim it and start operating it. Hmm. I'm prepared in return for this to offer you a 10% share in the mine. Ooh. Collectively, as a party, not each one of you. <laughs> mm. Just to what clarify, get, uh, five percent each. Uh, how about two and a half percent each? <laughs> Can I do a persuasion roll? Um, sure. How are you trying to persuade him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Same. Give me more money. The 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 feat of doing this is insurmountable, and you know. Uh -huh. We are the best group that can possibly do this, so we should be individually re rewarded in case we all go our separate ways. How about this, Gundren? Um, we will clear the cave for you for that 10%, and then we will bring your brothers back for another 10%. Um, that is a better persuasion argument, Dylan. Give me a persuasion roll. I got a 25. Oh, no. <laughs> now I'm going to roll a 6, a 4, 7. All right. I'll say Fine. with the 26 Nick rolled, you can have help. Okay. 13. All right. He doesn't care about his brothers. <laughs> that is a compelling argument, though their guarantee of survival isn't high. Well, you're alive. How about this? 15% and any valuables left in the cave that are not necessary to get the forge up and running again you can keep 18 percent, and we can do business in that cave as much as we want for the rest of its existence we want to be able to have our own business going as part owners that was sort of already implied okay cool 18 percent, and everything that i just said 15 percent is about as high as i Go. How about uh, sixteen percent, so all of us can have four percent each. Mm. I think that's fairly reasonable. It'll help the math, Gundren. Uh, uh, give me a persuasion, Nick. Uh, twenty-three. Sixteen percent, and all non-forge necessary items within the cave. Yes, sounds good to me. I'm holding uh, you nice. on the forge only needed items because uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, we got a wagon. We can put a lot of stuff in there. By that, I mean, you can't go in and strip the magic forge out of the place <laughs> right. and bring it somewhere else. You want to be able to use the forge. Yes. Oh, another part of the deal. You have to hire Mithril Star. Who? If he's not oh. in prison. If he's not in <laughs> prison. Star. Even if he is, if he gets out of prison, Ooh. you have to hire him. You know how to contact Mithril Star. Yes, we do. And if you're willing to give him the the resources he needs he can make us a whole lot of money and where is this mithril star <laughs> he's a well renowned jewelsmith and artificer within the artificer community that just the chance to meet him would be astounding you want to meet him well, that would be amazing if you can arrange that i think he's hanging out with the town master right now we could go talk to him in the, in the town hall that sounds amazing yeah 
So, 16% of all non-forge items, or 16% and all <laughs> non-forge <laughs> items, and you hire Mithril Star. But don't step on his creativity. I would never dream of it. And don't get mad when you find out what his real name is. All right, let's go. I, I guess I start leading them towards the town hall. All right. Uh, most, uh, do you follow, Nick? Uh, I'll follow. All right. Uh, the five of you will make your way out. Who would be at town hall? Robert, you just gonna keep performing? Yep, I'm All dropping right. it low. <laughs> oh my god! Are uh, you making your way to the town hall where you once again see Finn? Ah, does the town master just never come in here? Well, it is past working hours. No, oh, fair enough. Finn, uh, Gundren is back. Gundren, Finn is a guard. Gundren, it's good to see you again. How have things been in town since we were last here two days ago? Well, with the Red Brands defeated, uh, quiet, which is good. Yes. Any word from the outside world on the special goblins? Uh, no. We have not been getting any more reports. Uh, there's still some issues on the road with the goblins held up on the northern roads, raiding caravans, but the way south to Neverwinter and... Uh, Leolin has been quiet. Hmm. Good. Well, we wanted to introduce Gundren to our uh, mutual friend, Mithril Star, if that's all right. Ah, uh, the prisoner. Yes. He's right where you left him. Oh, good. I just try to move swiftly on as if he didn't say prisoner and lead Gundren to the cell. Uh, Gundren did definitely hear it, <clears throat> yeah. but he follows you up to the prison cell. Are you see in... Uh, the cell is Mithril Star, as far as you know. Also known as Adolf Star. Well, well, well. It's the, the Conquering Mithril Heroes Star. are back again. Yes, we are. And we brought a friend. And we got you a job. A job, you say? I believe, as of right now, my job is prisoner. Yes, well, like you said, you can get some of the fancy people in Neverwinter to get you out, right? I'm sure I can. And then once you do that, you can come back to Fandolin, and you will have a fully expenses-paid trip to Wave Echo Cave and the Forge of Spells to work for Gundren and make us all a bunch of money. Wave Echo Cave, you say? The Forge of Spells? Yes. That sounds pretty spiffy, doesn't it? That would be a dream come true, being able to forge there. You just see Gundren sort of like silent, staring at this person. Gundren, where's your manners? Oh, sorry. Um... <clears throat> I'm Gundren Rockseeker. Yes, yes. We know this. Oh, you're introducing it. Oh, you're saying to him, right. If you're truly Mithril Star, how would I go about... Uh, and he just starts asking these very complicated, like, mathematical arcana questions mm. that go over all of your heads because uh, he's, like, delving into artificing. <laughs> and Can then I get do an arcana check because I have a uh, plus four? Um, you can... But I don't want to try to bullshit up what they're saying. Okay, the magma gotcha. core is yeah. Super it's just like a bunch sexy. of nerd talk about magical creation of magical artifacts and constructs. It's like the DeLorean, uh, but with magic. Pretty much. Uh, and the new Mithril Star. It's like, well, uh, to get that spec specificity at that heat and with those materials, you need at least. 800 degrees of hellfire in a adamantine forge and he's just listing off all these things and you see Gundren is like smiling and also like a gasp and I believe this is for the first time you all realize this is the legitimate thing hell yeah I never doubted you for a second Adol I mean Mithril Star <laughs> <clears throat> see Gundren we come through on our promises we got you out of that castle and we this, found Mithril Star this is a great opportunity for all of us yes with the Forge of Spells in our control, we could start a great Artificer's Guild star. Indeed we could, Gundren. Indeed we could. If you're a promise of a job and the materials necessary to build my creations and whatever else our customers order are legitimate, then I'm prepared to help you in this endeavor. Hell yeah. Indeed. Um, Shake his hand, Gundren. I'm more than willing and... My business partners are as well to help provide the materials necessary for your creations. As long as I'm able to help you and learn. That's a pretty good deal. I've never taken on a student before. 
But I suppose passing on my knowledge is not a bad thing to do. As long as you pass on yours of dwarven crafting, it's a deal. And they shake hands. Through the bars. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, isn't this great? I look forward to my 4%. <clears throat> well, we've got to, to get some sleep. We've got to wake up early tomorrow and get back on the road. Some of us. It was nice seeing you again, Mithril. You as well, brave adventurer. See, he doesn't fucking know my name. Be good to see you cook. <laughs> yes, I'm very excited for what you might potentially build us on a discount because we're all business partners, right? Yes. Excellent, excellent. Well, if you want, um, well, you can't do shit. You're in a cell. Never mind. I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna invite him to the inn to listen to Robert's performance, but that, I can't. I just realized he's literally in prison. All right. Well. I need to get some sleep. Yes. You're heading back out to clear up some other issues in the region before we tackle Way of Echo Cave, correct? Yes, I believe... It, just try to get... There, there's there's rumors of these special goblins on the road. If we could get any information and then deal with the undead. I don't know if you heard about that, Gundren. Uh... At Old Owl Well. Not really. Ah, that place. Yeah, one of my friends promised me boots if I did it, and I kind of want the boots. Mmm. <laughs> Indeed. They're nice boots. Well, make sure to, uh... I'm sure the experience will be very helpful for our future endeavors. Yes. Plus, the safer the region, the more money we make. Exactly. More trading, more money, more problems. Hopefully less problems with more money, but usually it's more problems. Indeed. Let's try not to become dictators, also. That was never my goal. Good, good. Well... I'm glad I checked that before we <laughs> agreed to the deal. Um, if it was, it's too late now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fredo. Oh. Shall we? Also. Oh. Uh, Gundren, for safely getting me back to Vandalin, he hands you the 25 gold agreed upon. Hell yeah. Each? Uh, in total. It's worth a try. Actually, you said each? No, just like uh, you said 16% each for everyone <laughs> in the party? What? Okay. Okay. All right, you head back to the ends. Do you, want, you can add the 25 gold to your inventory, Frito. Sweet. You make your way back to the end. In. Uh, Gerald uh, and Gundren are like, oh, yes, Silda, we also found your equipment while we were... <laughs> I totally forgot about that. At Cragmore Castle. You did. <clears throat> you did. That is wonderful to hear. I've been missing my old gear, and he accepts it from Gundren. Nice. They walk into Sildar's room for the evening. Hmm. Nice. I assume you all go to sleep, take a long rest? Yeah, probably. I mean, I do kind of want... I, I do kind of want to go talk to Holly and see if she's found anything out about Rooksithid, but I kind of feel like she hasn't. It's been two days, so I'm just going to go to bed. All right. Frito is going to sit at the bar, and while everyone is merry and happy listening to Robert's music, um, he's just going to be drinking his sadness away, given that he was you, best. Before you go to sleep, do you put away the dwarven beer? Me? Or I think it's gone by this point. There's only yeah. enough for like 10 cups or whatever. I kind of expected it to be, to be gone, yeah. All right, it's empty. Dwarven alcohol has been consumed. Because we gave them that beer for free... Um, does that help Frito's campaign at all? Um, give me a, give me a d20 roll, Nick. A d20? Yes. Uh, right now, say high or low. Uh, low. Okay. I guess I should roll this, because I, I so low, I got a 14, so unfortunately it did not help. Fucking freeloaders. I said low because I rolled a five. <laughs> <laughs> I realized that. The, I, I Wait a minute. Hold I up. That. <laughs> I guess I, odd or even probably would have been a better option than high or low. Oh, well. Even. Nah, it's too late. <laughs> um, oh my god, how do you think that? Plus, uh, a week has not passed yet, so there has not been the mechanic we established, I think, a month ago. Yeah. All right, we go, I go to bed. Boom. All right, Gerald goes to sleep as well. Uh, do I have to pay gold for that, or are we all just stuffing ourselves in Sildar's room? Um, I believe it's gold per room. It's, I 
can never refine that thing again. I'll pay a gold. Yeah, modest. It's a gold per room. All right, I pay a gold to the barkeep and me. But that general. will include a meal in the morning. Nice. Uh, we got one person drowning their sorrows away, and we got Frito performing. Do you make it to a room eventually, Frito? Yeah, I'll go to bed, uh, once I'm, like, a little tipsy. Alright, you pay a gold for a room, uh, you go pass out in a bed. Robert, you play until, like, midnight again? Yes, yeah, sir. Alright, and then you eventually also make your way to your free room. Yeah. Uh, everyone can take a long rest. Uh, and then we'll start off the next morning. Who gets up first? I would like to get up first, and I'd like to go to the Shrine of Luck. All right. Uh, you wake up at about 7, uh, get out of your room, grab some uh, food, and then you make your way over to the Shrine of Luck. It's a little early, so the sister is not out attending to it. But you are still free to approach. I'll uh, approach and uh, do some worship. All right, give me a d20 roll. You can add your religion modifier to this world. Uh, uh, um, that'll be 11. 11. All right. Um, you do uh, adequate prayer. Uh, you can feel you like feel a little bit luckier for the day, but you did not roll well enough to get an inspiration. Dang it. Um, you spend a good 30 minutes praying and doing a few rituals before you make your way back to the inn. And in the meantime, uh, Gerald has gotten up and has grabbed some food and ate it in silence uh, in the room before Oris wakes up. Okay. Uh, and then after Gerald has finished eating, Oris gets up, I yeah. believe. Yep, I get up, I have some food, I give some to Tip, the normal routine. And yep. then uh, I guess I go out and I begin to prepare the wagon while I wait for the, everyone else to get ready. All right. He, you and Gerald are getting the oxen tied up to the wagon, um, loading. You have your rations and bedrolls and stuff. So you're just getting the oxen tied up, getting a little bit of feed for the oxen and putting that in the back of the wagon. William, can I ask you a question? Yes. What did I might not know this, but what did they do with Glassstaff's body? Did Did you guys not just leave it to rot? Yeah, but I I they did say they were gonna go through and gather stuff. Do you think they took it or just left it down there? Oh, uh, if I said that, then they probably in the time you've been gone have just burned all the bodies at some place. Drats. Okay. They cremated the bodies. Okay. Because that's the best way. To prevent disease from spreading. Um, you get the oxen tied up and ready to go. Uh, you see Frito coming back over, uh, going back inside, getting his stuff, coming out to meet you. And by this time, it's probably like 8.15, and that's when Robert awakens. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Is there anything you want to do in the morning? Powder drugs. on his nose as he walks outside. Uh, surprisingly, Robert doesn't need to do drugs this morning. All right. Uh, you grab your free food for the morning, you eat it, and you meet everyone outside. Nice. Uh, before you head off, you see Gundren and Sildar coming outside. For what have we earned such an honor, dear maiden? We are just coming to wish you luck. Stay safe out there, and when you are ready to go to Wave Echo Cave, just make sure to come find us. Yes, we'll probably have to come back to Fandolin. Anyway, for restock. I'll work on getting the Mithril Star free while you're gone. Is that Gundren, Gundren or... Says. Okay, Gundren. Yes. Excellent. Yes, any help you can give him would be much appreciated. We're trying to... Uh, it's kind of an experiment to see if we can make the, the bad people of this world be good. Uh, yes. It's always a good success when that happens. Yes, yes, and... Uh, Maybe one day we can take that essence, that magical power that is redemption, and put it into a potion, and we can cure all the goblins from being dickheads. That would be uh, amazing feat if you so accomplish it. Yeah, probably won't be me, but we'll keep an eye out for redemption and uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I go up, I give Sildar a big hug, 
I kneel down and give Gundren a big hug, and then I get in the wagon. Right. You. I assume two people are riding the horses. Oh yeah. All right. Are you All leaving right, them behind and just going in the wagon? I'm the horse now. I guess Robert and Frito Ro- ride Robert horses. Robert and Frito ride horses, and then you and got then Gerald does the yep. wagon. Then we have Gerald and you in the wagon. Yeah. And if it's just me in the back, I guess I'll sit up front with Gundren. Or Gundren. Gerald. Fuck me. Two G names is enough to confuse me, apparently. All right. Y'all set off. I wave goodbye to our friends. Back into the world. That actually was a lot less time than I thought it would be. Yeah. Because it just feels like we got to... We gotta start getting to these quests, otherwise we're gonna be there for seven sessions. Alright. Where are you heading first? Um Do we wanna just head back to the Tribro Trail and then just go oh. east on it? Yep. All Sounds right. good to me. You once again leave Fandolin. You will be going the uh, only twenty miles while you have the wagon per day. Okay. Uh so we got one, two three four so you make it to about here for the evening um nothing surprises you during the day uh you set up camp for the night any rp people want to do or are we just going to go through this as you make your way north um sorry go ahead are there trees nearby where we're camping uh not really okay it's like an open grassland or something yeah i'll just sort of I assume we brought some alcohol with us. Uh, I believe Robert has some on him at most times. Okay. Yeah, I think just like throughout the trip, I know Gerald doesn't drink, but I feel like late nights, me, Frito, and maybe Robert drink and talk. And I try to pry into their backstories and what their lives were like. And uh, I don't know, at some point in the in the night, I just let it slip that... Uh, Sometimes I question the decisions made by the leaders in the Unseelie court, but I don't realize I've said this to them. Mm. I'm telling. Does anyone else Fuck say anything? Elders blast Any, right off. Anybody reveal anything? <laughs> Any drunken late night texts? Since it's still fresh on the dome, I'm still so pissed thinking about Lenny. I'm just <laughs> like, man, I want to kill that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that that we will do that very. First the spider, then Lenny. <laughs> In that order. In that order. Nothing from Robert? Nope. Alright, All right. tight-lipped. Tight-lipped. We'll break in the next ways. day and continue north. <laughs> Disgusting, I just said that. What the fuck? Think? Booty hole, bro. Uh, we'll make it that far today. And we haven't spotted any goblins? Uh, nope. You, nothing has attacked you on the road or at night I'm like yet. keeping my eyes out, paying attention. I'm like confused that we haven't spotted any goblins yet. Next morning you break dawn, keep going, uh, and you s- eventually start seeing Con- Connie Berry in the distance. Ugh, holy shit. Has it already been three days? Where you know from here that to the north in the woods is somewhere is the Banshee's Lair, and south of you are the other two requests. Yes, out, old owl, well. Do we have any quest in Coneyberry? Coneyberry is a town? Yes. Um, which way do we want to go, lads? You want to take care of the Banshee, this, investigate the strange goblins, or we could do the strange goblins and the undead and then grab the Banshee on the way out? I feel like strange goblins are kind of the most pressing thing. Oh, so, yeah. from you right now, the closest Gross. is the Banshee. Uh, and then you would have to go all the way down to the like, strange goblin. Yeah, you would have to go all the way down to the Sword Mountains to interact with the goblin or uh, the other goblin raiding party on the region. So, uh, distance wise, how long would it take us to get to the Banshee's hideout? So you've already spent half a day getting where you are. Mm -hmm. Uh, You could probably find the Banshee lair today if you roll well. Um, It'd probably be another day and a half to get to the goblins. Yeah. And about another day to get to the necromancy thing. 
Should we t should we do a vote? <laughs> oh yeah, I like voting. All right, Frito, what would you like to do? Banshee or take a little bit longer to do the other two things and then get the Banshee on the way out? Probably go in all the way and then get the Banshee on the way out. I vote the same thing. So, Robert, it doesn't really matter what you vote, but... <laughs> but you already so... voted that other thing before, so I assume it hasn't changed. Uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah, we start heading towards Old Owl Well. So what we're going to do is you follow the Tribor Trail and then start veering into the, the Star Metal Hills. Is what it looks like they're called. Uh, the foothills of the swords, sword of mountains. And you make your way down. You're wanting to go to the goblins first, right? Uh, you want to go goblins first? Yeah. Okay. Gobble on these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you make your way here. So now it's been one, two. It's been three, three days. days. So Nick. So it's I... been longer than how long it took us to deal with Kragma. Kragma, yes. Nick, I'm gonna need a D100 roll from you. It's been a week. Oh, I was how like, twenty other tieflings show up <laughs> and start beating his ass. Oh my god! Shit. And you're gonna minus ten from the roll. Oh my fucking other dice. Ah. Uh, fourteen. So you, with is that with the minus ten? Yep. All right. So. F you don't know this, but you're, like, you, raw Frito, do not know this, but your campaigning team has convinced another 14 people to vote for you. Good stuff. Very monocle. All right. Um, um, you then start making your way towards the perceived location of Wyvern Toll. And it's really hilly in this area, right? Yes. We're traveling through valleys, basically. Valleys, sometimes over the mountains themselves. All right. right. Um, as you're making your way over the crest of a hill, uh, some creatures jump out at you. You're not surprised, but you run into some uh, creatures on the road. Do they look like goblins? Kill them. They do not look like goblins. Oh, boy. Um, they look like little bats with um they look like fleshy bats like their body is made out of flesh and they have like an ant eater type of head what the fuck? uh and they swarm at you so we are gonna start initiative mm -hmm. fleshy bats with an anteater head. yes these are storages and if i could get a roll from oris actually everyone roll initiative and then tell me what you get uh 20 plus 3. 5. 13. Uh, we got 5. You got 13, Robert? Yeah. We got what from Frito? Uh, not 20 plus 3. Uh, we're gonna start with Frito. Uh, I'm going... How far... Are they right in front of me? Uh, they're like, uh, 60 feet away. 60 feet away? But they're kind of menacingly charging at us? Yes, they're all flying at you. Okay, I'm gonna throw a chromatic orb at the closest one to me. All right, is that an I'll attack roll? Yeah, it'll be. Uh, I'll choose to do um, cold damage. All right. That will be. Does a um, twenty-one hit? Twenty-one hits. All right, I do three d8 of damage. All right, how do you do it? Uh, kind of like this orb just shoots out of my hands, and. It just launches straight into the flying thing, and it just like what freezes What element did you shoot? A cold? Do you cold. shoot this yeah. the ball of ice, and it intacts this flying oh, shit. monstrosity, and it just turns into ice, falls on the ground, and shatters? <sighs> Are these creatures like native to this area, or is this weird that um, they're here? It is. It's not weird that they're here. I don't know, actually let me. We expected to find some weird shit over here, then. Yeah, I mean, there's a uh, Faerun, while some areas of it might be safe, there's always weird shit in the wilderness. Uh, that's going to bring us to Gerald's. I don't get to go twice, because I had a... Uh, Gerald all rolled an at 20. Oh, shit. Dang, you guys might kill him before you even get there. Um, Gerald is going to move uh, 30 feet closer to the creatures, and then pull out a javelin and throw it at one of them. Uh, being a little rusty with these javelins, it goes wide and misses. Uh, Frito, 
How many of the flying things are left? Two? Uh, four. Four, okay. Because five fire, minus fire one bolt. is... Yes, go ahead. Uh... Unnatural 20. All right, that hits. It does. Four damage. All right. A bolt of fire leaps from your fingers and just pierces right through the center of this creature, creating a decent size just hole straight through it, and it falls to the ground. Damn, Frito. Uh, anything else you wish to do? I will do my um, cunning action to see if I can hide. Um, You can try. How are you hiding? What are you hiding about? Uh, You're on top of a hill. There's not a lot of vegetation. I'll like, uh, I guess I can't really hide because we're out in the open, so I won't. Uh, you could always like try to hide behind the horse or someone else. Nah, that's nah, that's okay. You get bucked. Uh, Gerald <laughs> will throw another javelin. This time, Gerald hits. Uh, the javelin soars through the air. Uh, frustrated at missing the last one, this one pierces right through the skull of the creature and it falls down, dead. So how many are left now? Two are left, and it is Robert's turn. Okay. Can I push back my turn, or do I have to go now? Um, you can prepare an action. You don't. You can if you want to. You want to delay your initiative? I, move it somewhere. I would like else. to delay my initiative until there's one left. Until there's, we, we can't do. You can delay it until half. Either you can. You have two options. You either can <laughs> wait until Oris's turn and go after him, or you can wait until after the creatures have moved done their action i'll do oris's turn uh-huh. so i will move your down in the initiative permanently so it's my turn uh nope it is the creatures <gasps> uh both of them are going to swarm forward at gerald and um it reaches its beak out and tries to pierce um gerald's armor to start sucking blood out of him Oh my god. Holy uh, shit. Sucking. First one misses. So does the second one. Uh, both clang off his armor as he stands there. Ha ha! Oris, it is your turn. Alright. I charge up my Eldritch Blast. And I just blast the nearest one. All right. I'm not going to hex or anything because I don't want to use any spells. You for are. It is day. So I don't know if that gives you disadvantage on attack rolls. I think it does. So I will roll twice. But I the lowest roll I got was a oh my god sixteen. So that's gonna be twenty one. Sixteen hits. So does twenty one. The damage will be oh good <laughs> four damage. <laughs> oh Ooh. yeah. You obliterate one of these creatures. Woo! It's like trying to cling onto Gerald, and you just blast it out of existence. Uh, Robert. That's awesome. All right, in Robert's attempt to seduce every animal, he's going to animal friendship, the last Sturge. Um, what what is it trying to do? What animal friendship is it? Uh, convince it that you mean it no harm. It becomes not angry at you, essentially. Just don't say that becomes charmed for the next day um give me a d20 roll because this is a beast to see if it even has a chance of working in the first place you're gonna try to you're gonna try to beat your wisdom uh concentration save so you're gonna try to beat a 14 okay 16 all right unfortunately it got a 17 so it is not jesus roll. christ all these animals are getting whippets on my back. Anything else on Robert's turn? Nope. All right, that brings us back up to Frito. Uh, Frito is going to chuck another firebolt at the closest one. All right, give me a roll. How about a uh, 15? 15 hits. And then I'm going to do four more damage. Pop All right, another bolt of fire and another thing trying to eat. Gerald gets incinerated. Sheesh. Uh And that ends combat. Everyone gets 
25 XP. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> How much did we need? Uh, 36. Oh, wow, that's crazy. And this all happened while we were just riding on our horses and shit, right? Yes. That's awesome. Everyone's level 3, right? Okay, I sort of fucked with... Everyone was at 2664, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 2689. So I sort of fucked with Jacob's XP. Accidentally. 11 XP. You need 11 more. Oh, wait. Yeah, those things were super fucking weak. <laughs> yeah, that was like a fly smashing against a windscreen. Yeah, it was like a bunch of bats just like attacking you. Yeah. It wasn't really going to do a whole lot.